You're so watching Anong Ganap! Bagets pa lang siya ay napansin na kanyang galing sa drama at comedy. At ngayon, muli nagbabalik ang isa sa mga nagpakilig sa atin at isa sa pinakamagaling na aktor na kanyang henerasyon. Jao Mapa, welcome to Anong Ganap! Hi, Sam! Hi, Hello. Ka- kamusta ka na? Mabuti naman sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Hello! Hi! Magandang araw! <laughs> Magandang araw din, Jao! And... First of all, welcome to Viva Family. Oh, uh, thank you very much. It's nice to be back. Uh, actually, I used to be with Viva okay. already, and mm-hmm. uh, so returning uh, mm-hmm. under uh, new management, actually co-management mm-hmm. with uh, Ms. Uh, Aster Amboyo. So, uh, yeah. So, sa so mga, of course, ano, ano ang pinagkakabalaan mo? Uh, uh, ako po ngayon ay uh, isang, uh, actually, pintor ako ngayon. Uh, okay. It's a... Uh, It's a talent na uh, actually uh, graduate ako ng fine arts major in advertising sa University of Santo Tomas. Uh, Lately lang uh, talaga na nailabas ko itong talento na ito. Lalo na uh, nakatulong ito sa lockdown mm-hmm. uh, with uh, my family. Uh, uh, alam mo naman na uh, mahirap mo naman ang uh, racket or kids mm-hmm. from uh, entertainment business. So, uh, ang paintings ko actually ang sumanda sa <laughs> sa amin and uh, so uh, God God's blessing and uh, eto uh, mahaba ako ng buong at uh, <laughs> ako ngayon ay isang uh, pintor <laughs> wow it's actually a good uh, field also but pag-usapan natin yung mamaya maraming talaga artista madaming na discover about themselves during lockdown but of course you've always been visible in the hindi ka naman nakawala sa showbiz dyan tayo lagi But what made you decide to go back to Viva? Uh, thanks for that, Sam. Uh, actually, uh, I got this call. Okay. <laughs> It's that I got this call. Uh, out of the blue lately, and uh, he, uh, he asked her, mm-hmm. uh, uh, called and said, uh, uh, if I wanted to go back to show this. Mm-hmm. And then she said, uh, and, uh, well, uh, why not uh, uh, go under her mm-hmm. and uh, also under Viva? Mm-hmm. co-manage so uh, here I am flashback muna tayo syempre nagkasama tayo early oh, wow. mga 90s yun first cover ko yan ang magazine nyo <laughs> at may kopya pa ako dyan meron ha <laughs> meron din ako oh, mod oh. magazine o oh, diba pero for your generation syempre isa ka sa mga pinakas ka heart trap ka talaga ng generation mo talagang yung smile mo yung buhok ah, alam mo mga buhok mo nun eh yung pag flip mo ng hair <laughs> diba very jow yan paano ka ba na-discover or paano ka nagsimula sa showbiz okay uh, nagsimula ako as a uh, model actually for mm-hmm. print garments such as Coalition Zoo mm-hmm. Akajo Boston Stories uh, wala na eh wala na yung mga brands na yun but I came to bench mm-hmm. nung nagkaroon ng bench uh, pictorial ako Um, andun, andun si uh, uh, si Pete Douglas mm-hmm. rest in peace, but he was there tapos nakita niya ako, tapos sabi niya gusto nang showbiz, sabi ko, mas pili so, the week after and, I mean <laughs> I mean, palibasa na lang mm-hmm. eh so, uh, taga-antipolo, laking antipolo, mm-hmm. probinsya no, biglang, nandito ka nagtatrabaho, kasi wala lang yung pangalan, yun, yun ang yun, 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 gusto na yun So from modeling to acting, what was your biggest challenge? Ah, I'm a stage actor. Okay. Originally, I'm a stage actor. I've been I've done well, st- a lot of stage performances during grade school days and high school. And there's a difference between acting on stage and acting on TV. Kapag umaate ka sa stage kasi, malaking galaw ko. So, kailangan exaggerated mm-hmm. para makita ng pinakamalaking tao kung anong ginagawa ko. As of in TV, in camera, kailangan the smallest nuances kailangan ma-portray mo na yung anong nararamdaman mo. Mm-hmm. Parang volume yan eh. Higinaan mo ng konti para, you know, to project mm-hmm. okay na sa TV na hindi ka maging yeah. okay. So, so, I did. After the first episode, no, pinapanood ko, narinig, wala ko, wala kang maririnig ng boses na lumalabas sa action actually. <laughs> sa sobrang pantone na ang acting ko, wala kang maririnig na kahit ano. Uh, so it was soft. It was really soft. So, that's how it, the adjustment of, um, of acting 
back to me. And also, you know, no, in, uh, also in drama. Mm-hmm. So what do you think is the your turn, turning point or talagang nagmarka sa'yo na ah, ito, markadong artista na ako? Actually, palibas na lang yung music. Palibas? Uh, was it? Palibas na lang. Pero sino mga naging ka-post mo ba sa showbiz? Uh, is it from Palibasa? Well, you know, uh, Derek also became a uh, uh, good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, the Pareco gang, so, uh, Gio Alvarez. Ako yun na. Talag- talaga nagbabalik na si Jama. Paano naman ako pinaka... Siguro now, na- na-excite ka ba? Or pinaka na-miss mo going back to showbiz? Na wala ka ba? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, everybody's like saying... Uh, I don't have a bad. Actually, I'm just, actually, I'm just there. I'm just there. Uh-huh. I, I, I never left. It's just that uh, my, my time already came, uh, passed. So I would say I'm just a support right now. And uh, But uh, I've never left. But I'm still here in the business. But I'm pretty sure you have more or less like a new character na in mind. Or pa iba na yung, iba na yung job map pa ngayon. Tingin mo, is it more? Like the character, actor, mature, and what did he say? Aasahan namin mga viva followers siya. Well, bilang isang artista sa sa larang pag-arte, sa tiko, maraming na mga pagkukumutan dahil sa mga pinagdadaan ko. Ngayon na ako isang mature na a pista as uh, uh, na parang na uh, mga mga paraha lang siya na sabik na ako ipakita kung ano ang meron ako. Mm. <laughs> may mga alas na siguro na ako na nakatago na oh, uh, mm. ito may pagmamarigil ito. 90 siya tato pero <laughs> may asim pa. <laughs> yes! Pag-usapan naman natin nga ang sinasabi mo kanina ang naging isang pang career especially yung karang yung pagpipinta. Yes. So, kaya nag-start ang ano mo, ang passion mo for painting. Ah, actually, I started, I started drawing already since I was able to learn how to pick up a pencil. Mm-hmm. And then I started drawing and then I remember uh, I was six years old. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, ginawa ko yung portrait ko. Ginawa ko yung portrait ko, mm-hmm. kinula yung pen, pen crayon. Tapos, ako ako, dahil bungi ako nun, gusto ko kulang yung mga ngiti ako, kulang ng isang ngiti. <laughs> okay. If I show it to anybody, oh, ikaw nga! <laughs> mm. So, matagal mo na pala talagang hili kong pagpipinta. Matagal na. At na yung ano mo lang, quarantine na, na express lahat or talagang nailabas ang yung paghihing artist. Well, it... not only that, um, uh, after fresh out of high school, mm-hmm. I was looking for a good college. And I really wanted to get into the arts. Yeah. And there are only a few colleges that I know uh, that uh, give off uh, art courses. I landed on USD because of a talent test, oh, I think. Okay. At, it, it was the talent test that got me in. Mm-hmm. Uh, right after getting to USD, I didn't get it. I passed one of my units in the card. I was with my dad. I know that it was the same time. I had to do the pictorial in bench. Oh, okay. So 1993, I was a freshman in USD, and I was also started palibas na lang. And ako din nagtusto sa sa education man. After which, I, I got my family. After that, yes. I know I, I I met my wife at the time. Okay. Um, uh, uh, we 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 had been, mm-hmm. and then I I. I got into odd jobs. Mm-hmm. I got into Manila Pen as a, okay. in, in the art room, which is I mean, an art room. Mm-hmm. It's just a print shop where you print in the set menus, uh-huh. events, and then posters and so uh-huh. forth. Just in the four wall uh, office and, and, a printing mach- and printing machines and computers. So it wasn't really that exciting. So for six months, that's a Manila Pen. Uh-huh. And then after that, I got into. Um, Picture company, mm. photography, naman ako. Mm. So I wanted to look for a sign that uh, I still wanted to take a crack at so, mm. show this mm. again. So, there are many agencies in uh, Makati. Mm. So I got into uh, auditions for commercials. Okay. And ho- lo and behold, out of 500 auditionees here in this KFC commercial, I was 
I got the part. Wow. I got the part. I got the part. And I said, wow, this is the, the, the sign. Puede mm -hmm. So I did the commercial. It was a, it was a titled boss, but uh, that was the start of me getting back. Mm -hmm. Trying to get back to show this. Mm -hmm. my, my theory was, or anybody's theory is, you try to expose yourself as much as possible. Kind of medium ng pasukan na, whether it be indie films, stage, uh, bit role, you name it. Basta may, may exposure nga. Mm -hmm. So I did. I was doing that ever since, uh -huh. say 1994, up to mm -hmm. this day. Wow. Napahiga ka naman sandali, but those were the times na naging jaw mapa ka na dad. So mga kids mm -hmm. mo, they grew up, parang nung lumalakas sila, hindi ka artista. Hindi ka artista noon. Yes. More, more on. Yes, 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 yes. So ano mo reaction nila kung pag nakikita ka nila with your... Movies, diba? I'm pretty sure lumalabas yung mga old movies natin dyan. Uh, uh, <laughs> my, uh, I remember my son, he was asked, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, he answered, uh, he wanted to be like me. Mm -hmm. my, my son, kind of wanted to be like me. Nako, ngayon naman dyan na nagbabalik ka sa showbiz, ano naman mga plano sa career mo? May, do you have any projects lined up already? Um, technically, um, I just want to be surprised. I, I just got in the office, so I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, expecting uh, uh, something to come up. Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, just wait and see now. Aabangan namin yan. But for now, please invite our viewers sa yung mga say, social media platforms and your maybe have a website for your painting and where can they follow you? Okay, uh, actually I sell uh, personally online. I don't really have a website. So uh, I sell on uh, Instagram and Facebook and uh, I, I use pretty much uh, social media. Um, and I'm also part of an uh, online gallery, which is the Good Art Gallery. And other than which, uh, I'm also supporting and uh, a benefactor right now, uh, the White Cross Children's uh, Home uh, for Foster Children. Uh, they house about 80, 80 plus children. And uh, I, I do live streams actually in UP and. Uh, I do also live streams for this uh, Canadian group called Escape, mm -hmm. and uh, proceeds a portion of the proceeds go to this uh, foster home. So uh, um, that's what, mm -hmm. what 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 I've been doing. Actually, mm -hmm. I just did it. <laughs> I just did it this uh, last month, and uh, it is true that if you uh, help and give to charity, mm -hmm. it will come back uh, multiple folds. So I encourage people to give charity right now. Uh, in the pandemic, na to, at uh, I told them that may babag sa yung pagnon. Yes. Na ko, and we will uh, uh, look forward uh, to a more mature, <laughs> maraming alas na baon na jamapa from being a matini idol to a dad to a painter. And now back to Viva Family. Thank you very much, Jao, oh, and thanks, good luck. Stay safe, more and we will see. You. We will see more of you here in Viva. Congratulations to you too. Thank You're more beautiful you. right now. Very Thank beautiful. You.